It's been a year. Where's my skate four then? Hi guys, Colsey, and today I am revisiting skateboarding games. So about a year ago, I made a video talking about uh, a couple of new skateboard games that were coming out that would be spiritual successors to the skate franchise, to Skate 3, to the EA Skate games. So I figured it's probably about time that we uh, chase up those games and see how progress is going with them. I'm a big fan of skateboarding, I'm a big fan of skateboard games. Uh, I used to be a skateboarder back in the day. Actually, you can see, I'll show you, hang on. I'll show you in my office, uh, my new office, uh, exactly how much I like skateboarding. So over here on the wall, got three skateboards. That one is signed by uh, the whole Plan B team. That was my old company I used to run and that one is another signed board. Uh, I don't actually know who's that signed by. And then over here we've got uh, a picture of Rob Durdick signed. DC Rob Durdick picture. So you can see that I like skateboarding. Skateboarding is something that I used to do when I was younger. I used to run a company uh, and I love skateboarding games. I love the EA skate games. They're one of my favorite games. I guess let's just get into it and we'll talk more about what has changed, what has progressed and how these games are doing. We're gonna start in a different order. Last time we started with Session. This time we're gonna start with Skater XL. Uh, I'm pretty sure that when I played last, when I last made this video, I say when I last made this video, it's a very similar video. I'm pretty sure that Skater XL had just released on early access. So at the minute, you're probably looking at something that was very similar to, to what you saw last time. So last year, I felt like Skater XL was, was definitely gonna be the better of the two games out of Session and Skater XL. It was gonna be the better of the two. It was gonna be the more the more close to the to the skate franchise kind of game. And strangely, the, that has not been the case, in my opinion. So Skate Excel was my favorite. It was the most fun to play. It was the most similar to skate for me. Skate Excel, even though it's pretty fun and uh, the controls are, are still the same, they're still slightly different to skate, uh, a little bit more intricate using both sticks to do tricks. But updates since last time you've seen it have been very, very few. In fact, I'm pretty sure that the only actual update, big update that's happened, happened not that long ago. So it's taken nearly a year to do pretty much anything to this game, which is a little bit of a disappointment really, because I can't, we kind of expected more from it. I expected them to keep up to date. I expected them to, to have lots of updates come in, but in reality, they didn't really have that many updates. Uh, this is a new update, the fact that you can actually set a session marker where you feel like you want it um, and you don't actually have to physically like skate to that location. But other than that, there's not been a hell of a lot to it. So the biggest update to the game really, I mean, other than the fact that you can actually sort of, there is some sort of tiny amount of character customization, but really not that much. Like, uh, I mean, like look, there's like three options for each, each thing. Uh, the biggest one is that they have actually added a second map. When I say they've added a new map, uh, it's actually still in beta and in order to get it, you actually have to go on Steam and then sign up for the beta to even access the map. So it's almost out, I guess, but that's really the only update they've done in my opinion. Like they've done a few tiny little up updates, nothing that you would really notice as a player, I don't think. But obviously a new map is always good. That's a big update, but I just don't feel like, I don't feel like it's, th this game has made as much progress as I thought it would and is going to be as, as good as I originally thought it was, I don't think. I expected more from it and to be honest, I'm a little disappointed about how much they've actually added to the game and updated the game because basically they haven't really added anything. And if you'd asked me a year ago, uh, out of the two, which of these games I thought was going to be the best one, which one I would have put my money on. I would have put my money on Skater XL just purely because of, of what I'd been able to play. Last time I made this video last year, the only actual playable stuff of Session that we had was uh, the, the early alpha, I think it was, and that really wasn't anything special and it felt very weird. Um, and now looking back on it, this kind of feels a bit weird. Like some of the ways that the, the tricks flip just don't feel right. 
it feels very very floaty i guess you could describe it as it's, it's quite a floaty feeling skateboard game now don't get me wrong it's fun it's a skateboard game it's enjoyable uh it does it does sort of have an aspect of like the ea skate franchise to it it does feel like one of those kind of games that was a weird thing i just did there but uh, i don't know there's just something something a bit weird about it and it needs it needs uh, a lot more work and with the amount of time that they've taken to make this amount of content and most of it isn't even out yet because this map is in beta it's it's a bit of a disappointment i'm going to be honest so they have added a replay so you actually have a replay editor built in i'm pretty sure this is this is now built into the game earlier on this was a mod um and that is something that's good about this there are quite a quite a few mods quite a few modded maps quite a good modding community behind this i'm gonna be honest i'm just disappointed like i really want a good skateboard game i really want a game that that feels to me like skate 4 ish because we're not getting a skate 4 because the likelihood of us actually getting an official skate 4 game is very slim it's we we kind of need something to fill that gap I think I think we do. I think skateboarders want that. I think I want that as a you know skateboard enthusiast. I guess you could call me. I don't really skate much anymore, but I still love the games, and I still love the the whole culture behind it. And I feel like we don't have that many good video games. We've got the skate games, and they're really good. But the Tony Hawk games, they're very different. They're a bit more arcadey, and this is sort of it feels like an odd in between. Like, look how high I'm going off these ramps in this bowl. It just doesn't quite feel as realistic as Skate did. And I feel like that's what I want. I want something fairly realistic. So before we go and play Session, let me just show you. So these are the official maps, official maps, because one of them's in beta. Uh, but actually with the custom maps, you can, with mods, you can actually add a bunch of custom maps, which make it a lot more playable, but still the whole feel, the whole control of the game is still gonna be the same, but at least we've got more maps that we can play uh, thanks to the community behind the game. Right, let's switch over and play some Session and see how that's come along since last year. Okay, welcome to Session. Uh, looks a lot different to last time we saw it last year. Uh, we actually have a fully playable game. So, this is Session. Uh, as you can see, the, the low angle is something very different to Skater XL that we just played. And the actual controls a similar, you again, you're using both sticks to, to control and to do tricks, but it does feel a lot more weighty and a lot more, a lot more real, I think, a lot more realistic. This to me just feels like, for starters, the level is a lot nicer. The bales are still a bit weird, but, but I'd say better than they were. Session only has this one map. Uh, but it's actually a very large map. It's a, it's a lot more like Skate was, where there's there's sort of different areas to the map. There's like a businessy area, and there's like a downtown. There's a bit more like of a a little bit of an industrial area. So it's a lot. It feels a lot more like Skate in that aspect. Um, and it does feel some see sometimes the bells. Are, like I said, the bells the bells probably need work, but I am actually a lot more impressed with how how much session has changed since last year. Session has come on a hell of a lot more. Um, and for, I mean, this game has walking in it for starters. So that's that's pretty good. Down some stairs. We've got some big stair sets here. Oh, that that is something I've placed here, which again is something that is not in Skater XL. The fact that you can actually place objects and, and sort of change the map by adding things and you can make something a little bit more custom, a bit more a bit more however you want. And I really like this game. This game is actually really, really good. And it feels really a lot more like Skate should. It feels a lot smoother, a lot more realistic, a lot more weight to the things you do. Uh, which I think, I think that's what that's what Skate was. This, this is very much more closer to the Skate 4 that we should have, that we deserve. Closer to the Skate 4 we deserve than than Skater XL was. Let's have a look in the other stuff. I've done a video, a separate video about this if you want to look into all of it, but I'm just going to try and briefly sum it up. So yes, we have a replay editor in this as well, which is good because that is kind of a classic of Skate that we need to be able to show all the awesome things we do. Uh, skate guide, so we have controls and 
stances and stuff like that. Challenges, it does have challenges. I feel like that's going to be more like you, you do a certain challenge that it says you earn a bit of money and then you can uh, spend that on character customization things. Experimental game of skate. So I haven't actually tried that and you know, I, I don't have I <laughs> don't have anyone to play with at the minute. Uh, trick display, maybe that'd be cool to turn on. I don't think I've looked at that. Gameplay. So you've got all of these things. Um, pop height, global, unique. Uh, there's a lot more customization you can have to how realistic you want it to feel. I'm pretty sure I just have it set for the easiest way for me to play. Uh, so it's probably fairly simple, but that's up to you guys, whatever you prefer playing. So now let's have a look at what trick display looks like. I'm, I'm curious about this. Oh, it's just, it has the trick down the bottom corner. I'm cool with that. That's pretty cool. And that's falling on my face. I wanna do a 360 flip. There we go. Tray flip. Nice. And again. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it, we're doing the nose grind. I bet we're gonna, oh, we're gonna do it. Oh, we're making it. Nailed it. I'd love to have a skate fall, an official real skate fall. No, it, again, as I said last time, doesn't seem like that's gonna happen. Uh, I don't think for whatever reason that is gonna happen. We're not gonna get a skate fall. I think the EA skate franchise might be a bit dead, but these games are coming along. Even Skater XL, which at the minute is, is my least favorite, it has shown a little bit of promise recently that it might be being still developed on. I was worried that maybe they'd just given up on it, um, but at least with the beta that came out, I think fairly recently, that sort of shows that maybe they're not abandoning it just yet. And Session has come on a huge amount since last year. It's, it's actually sort of a fully playable feels really good kind of skateboard game. So I think in 2020 that these games can can still progress and still make a make a good, still be made into good games. Like they're not bad games as they are, they're fun to play. No, they don't have, you know, a story mode, and challenges like, like Skate had, uh, but they are fun free play skateboard games and they're better than the alternative, which I think is, is basically nothing. So in that aspect, I think I'm pretty happy with the fact that at least it's progressed. Yeah, Session is definitely the better of the two, in my opinion. Uh, you guys can let me know your opinion in the comments, but I think that Session has actually come on quite a good amount and I'm, and I'm actually very pleased with that because I know that Session was something I backed on, on Kickstarter when I first heard about it and it was it's a game made by skateboarders. I was kind of a little disappointed uh, when I thought that the game maybe wasn't quite what I was looking for. Um, but, you know, giving them the chance, giving them the time, uh, they've come out with a really, really good game. And, you know, if they want to add more maps to it, they want to add a, a career mode to it, I would be more than happy. It's a very good game. There are a few rough edges, which you would expect from a from sort of an indie studio who doesn't really, you know, they've not developed a, a skateboard game before. You know, you're not dealing with EA making another skate game, who have already made three, four skate games, uh, you're dealing with a, a studio who's never made a skateboard game before. Now they know about skateboarding, so they know what in real life it should feel like, it should look like, uh, but they've got to turn that into a video game, which I guess is it's pretty damn hard. I think it's, it's a really promising game, and I think that at least we have something. You know, we have something in 2020, some skateboard game, with some sort of promise to actually being a decent follow-up to skate. Customize your skateboard over here, so you can change, you know, uh, grip tape, deck graphics. Uh, they've got a bunch of graphics in here from some fairly reputable companies, which is pretty cool. A bunch of wheels. Trucks, there's only a couple, but a couple's better than none. And grip tape, again, we've got a bunch of different, depending on what you want to see. All right, so that's the, the board customization, which again, uh, Skater XL doesn't have, uh, other than modding it yourself, which is a bit more of a pain. You can customize your skater over here. So you can have female or male, and then you've got a bunch of hats and stuff, a uh, bunch of t-shirts. Again, these are like some actual branded shirts, which is 
really cool because that makes it feel like skate. That's where it's supposed to be. Like the integration with the brands and actual skate brands is is a really cool thing that we liked having in skate. Well, I did. I like the fact that I could be like, oh, I really like Supra, so I'm gonna put Supra shoes on. Feet, bunch of shoes. Uh, at the minute, I don't think any of these are branded shoes because I assume copyright reasons, they have to figure that out. So overall, let's just sum this up, right? So 2019, I said it was gonna be the year for skateboard games. And uh, in a way it was, and in a way it wasn't. So yes, both of these games released on early access uh, and we had some skateboard games in 2019, um, but they didn't really progress to the point that I thought that they were real contenders to being a skate for. Um, but we're not getting Escape for, so, there, there, so other than these, there is no contender to Escape for. It's not going to happen. But 2020, another year, uh, progress is being made on these games. Session has come along a hell of a lot in a year, uh, and hopefully it continues to do so. Hopefully we get more maps. Hopefully we just get improvements to the gameplay and the feel of it and stuff. Um, I really do hope that they continue to do that because I think it, it's a game with a lot of potential and it's very very fun. Uh, it is the best skate replacement that we have currently, in my opinion. Um, and then we have Skater XL as well, which last year was my favorite game, was, was my pick of the two, uh, but it hasn't really progressed as much as I would have liked. And even the progression it has made have been fixes and stuff, which are good and obviously need to happen, but it hasn't made as much progress as I, as I would have liked to have seen and the map update that it's had is still only in beta uh, and it's not technically a full uh, a full map yet so that's a little disappointing but they have at least added a replay editor and some sort of character customization so they have been adding a couple things i just feel like they need to add more to the game itself uh, to make it more playable but yeah session is very good i really really enjoy it i do play it in my own time a fair amount like when i'm waiting for something to render or you know, I've got 20 minutes spare, I'll flick this on and I'll play a bit of this, I'll play a bit of Session, uh, just because that's that's an enjoyable game for me, a game that I can turn on, play a bit of, and uh, hopefully they're gonna continue to add to it. So, I guess that's really my update. So, 2020, maybe 2020 would be the year that we get a really good finished skateboard game. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, thank you guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments what you think to these games, what you think is your favorite game, what you wanna see from them in the future. I really appreciate all the feedback uh, I got on the last video that I made last year. That did really, really well and people seem to really like that. So uh, I'd like to carry on that conversation here and talk about a game genre that I'm really passionate about and hopefully you guys are too. I really like skateboarding, I really like skateboard games and I wanna see a good one come out again. It's been a long time since Skate 3 and we deserve a good skateboard game. And if EA won't bring it to us, then hopefully maybe Creature Studios and Session or Skater XL will bring that to us. Thank you guys. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you next time.